Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is Hump Day Wednesday, uh, November the 29th, 2023. And I'm back uh, before you again with a prophetic word from Father God. And um, like always, like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to come uh, out of Deuteronomy in Psalms chapter 8. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 8. It says, See, I have given you this land. Go in, take possession of the land. The Lord, the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their descendants after them. Psalms 8 and 6. <clears throat> it says, You have made us to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under our feet. The word that I have to release uh, today is what Father God is still giving us more understanding of how he moves in the earth on our behalf. Um, I have said before that this channel is different. The Lord uses me in a, in a totally different way from many other prophets. I know that I'm not the only one that he's using in this manner. But that I am uh, able to give the uh, his people understanding about how he moves in the earth on our behalf. And so as I'm giving this word to you, understand that this is Father God speaking to give us insight on what he's doing uh, firsthand. Step-by-step -step instructions of what he's wanting to do through many of us going forward to complete the assignment uh, for the work of the kingdom here on earth. And so let's get to the, what he's spoken today. Let me readjust my uh, paperwork here so I can read it a little closer. He says, keep your eyes. Now, when I read this, I'm going to read the complete thing, even what he's spoken to me about some things that he's doing for me to continue to, to watch and focus on. And I'm doing that because I really want everyone to understand how he uses me as a prophet. And when speaking through me, the things that he is even directing me to do. So let's get to it. He says, keep your eyes up on uh, open for this next shift. Keep your eyes open for this next shift. I will show you things that are coming in the form of chaos. This area of confusion will form because of the lies of many people in power. They will begin to release this information over politics and how they are presenting lies to cover areas that need to be released for the governing of people's assets. I'm not for sure what all of this is about, but as we uh, continue to go forward, he's going to even reveal more to us about government and assets. It has a lot to do with land and housing, but let me finish with the word. I'm, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Many people in power, they will begin to release this information over politics and how they are presenting lies to cover areas that need to be released for the governing of people's assets. I will cause for change in this area. Many things are coming full circle in the form of renewal. I'm bringing a newness in how things are done over landscaping. There's a thing called cap back assets. This area will become the power source for many of my people buying land moving forward. I've tried to do a little study on cap back and it doesn't actually say cap back uh, when you look up uh, cap back assets, but it gives us a kind of uh, understanding of what he's doing within that area. But let me uh, keep on. <clears throat> cap back assets. This area will become the power source for many of my people buying land moving forward. Keep your focus on this as I move to bring an open door. Continue to, to keep prayers over housing. As those doors are opening for many, I will cause a shift in home buying. 
many uh, I will cause a shift in home buying moving forward people will have an opportunity to move through this door as I keep things moving forward allow me some time in your heart to shift your thinking over community I'm wanting to show you some things about your future and how you will build a community to help many sustain a lifestyle of freedom in me I want you thinking I want your uh, thinking changed over correction and how you will bring many people to see me correctly many people have a thought of who I am but not truth you will open up their hearts to see me as Abba Father God keep your heart I will deliver all I have spoken and so as I looked into a cap a cap back assets it is uh, the assets that's uh, uh, re I don't even want to get into that let, let me because I really need to do a little more studying on what Father God means by that but I will say this as we intercede and pray uh, these door other doors that he's talking about as far as buying land we are to cover those doors uh, the opportunity for many to to buy land for the purpose of building the kingdom here uh, on earth whatever uh, aspect that may be I know for me it would be agriculture for others it may be something different but we have to cover those doors in prayer releasing God angel armies over those doors that everything goes according to plan as God has decreed for it to do so uh, he's talking about uh, also uh, housing the housing market we need to continue to cover the doors about housing uh, that those opportunities present themselves for those that Father God is sending into that direction. He has uh, told us about uh, in uh, videos past about safe houses. Something coming to America. I'm not for sure where, what it is, and it's probably and it may be safe houses anywhere in the world. But I'm not. I'm just saying in America that's where we are. Uh, but for those that are in other countries. It, safe housing may be for another purpose um, we have to realize that the things he's speaking is for those around the world not just here in the United States unless he specifically says the United States and so as we're looking at the word he gave and he says that the doors are opened for uh, purchasing housing and he also said about land um, and when he said landscape, I'm thinking that, that that means across the board, not landscaping as we know with trees and brush and all that. I don't think that's what that means. I think landscaping is the whole thing across the board and how he is opening up uh, this area uh, for capital assets or for the, uh, it could be for the depletion or the uh, uh downsize of what the land will as far as um, what do you call that interest it could be the interest rates may be lower but he says that this way of, uh, of doing things will be a great thing for his people in buying land and so this is an area where we must cover in prayer everything that Father God is releasing for 2024 He's releasing a lot of things. A lot of doors will open in 2024. We have to be positioned to pray those doors. And those people that he's calling through those particular doors, that they hear everything needs, that they need to hear, uh, and that their heart is opened to receive. We have to realize one thing. Everything Father God is doing, there's a process. When he says, open your heart and receive, there's something that you got to be doing. So our heart has to be open in some type of capacity. It may be our thinking needs to shift that our heart can receive that level of whatever that is. Um, I had to, and I'm going to give you an example. The Lord says, open your heart and receive the blessings that I have for you. Now, I have not, this door has not opened yet for me to walk through it. The door is there. And 
I haven't walked through it about the land that he's given me. But he said, open your heart to receive it. The land and everything on it is what he's given me. Now, I had to really get out of self and look at things beyond what my thinking would be and look at how God would open the door for me. So he says, land and everything on that land. So now my heart has to open wide to understand this is bigger than me. And what's on that land? What, how much, you know, buildings, uh, housing, uh, what's on it? So when he says, open your heart and receive, there, there is a place that you have to take the whole thing or the weight of whatever that is that he's bringing you into and accept it all. Don't limit him. Don't don't limit God or put God in a box, but open your heart wide because whatever he's doing is bigger than us. But we, and we have to have the heart capacity to receive it that we don't limit him. Um, he talked about housing. Um, I said before, I think it was last year or earlier this year, not to buy housing because it just wasn't the time. And so now we're stepping in to two, uh, 2024. Uh, many things will start to change even through the passing of bills for certain things. And I think when he said politics about land, I think there's a bill or something that has to do with the purchasing of land and how it's always been done because he said this they're full of lies. Um, we have to realize that they have been stealing land and padding uh, books and uh, releasing deeds to land that was stolen. And so if we know that these things have been happening over a uh, over many years, then there's something that he's doing to offset that and bring everything back into uh, compliance and, and alignment. Because uh, he said here, uh, I want to go back and, and share where he says about the lies. He says, I will show you things that are coming in the form of chaos. This area of confusion will form because of the lies of many people in power. They will begin to release this information over politics and how they are presenting lies to cover areas that's needed to be released for the governing of people's assets. Now, all of this connects with land. And so I'm not for sure if it's because he's going to begin to expose this area that they have to change the policies in order for uh, these things to come back into a um, workable capital or a workable place for us buying land. Now, I'm going to share something with you. And I don't know if you've seen this video that uh, I spoke about this. But in my sleep, Father God gave me a name of, uh, of this man. And his name is Ian Rourke. The, uh, I -A -N -N Rourke R -O -A -C -H, I-A-N-N Rourke. R-O-A-C-H is his last name. And in my dream, the last name was spelled out. Okay, that this person, when I looked, re did the research after waking up and thinking, who is this person? He is somewhere in the, the national uh, headquarters of real, real estate, realtors. What he has to do with the land that Father God has given me, I'm not for sure. But what we need to understand, that we are in a, uh, <laughs> my God, Lord, the, whew, open heavens. To release the goods into our hands here on earth. We're under open heavens. These doors will begin to open so quickly and so fast. The opportunities will be going like this. Just presenting themselves before those that God has chosen to go through the doors. I have talked about everyone will not be able to receive the opportunity to uh to go in and possess the land as God is calling us to do so because of our heart condition. This is why he keeps saying, get yourself together, listen to what I'm saying, repent, change your thinking, change your mindset. My videos is is one of the the areas where we're seeing uh what God is saying, change your way of thinking because everyone can't grasp 
what I'm speaking on these videos. They're not seeing how God talks to his prophets and his apostles. They're not seeing that. And so this is evident right here how God talks to his apostles and prophets. These doors that he is opening are huge. I am still trying to wrap my mind around this place uh, that he is bringing me into. Because I re really believe it's bigger than I can ever imagine. But the thing of it is my heart has to be open to the capacity to receive all of it and not limit him and put him in a box. But that I pray over every door, over every opportunity, not just for myself because I have spoken before that I intercede for all doors. That is my post. That is my uh, position in, uh, in, in the throne room of uh, Yahweh is to release people through doors, uh, to pray over that door and to release uh, God's uh, people into those doors. And how we do that is as we are praying for those around the world that God is calling through whatever door that is, we are sending out warring ministering angels and uh, God angel armies out to speak to the heart of those people that they hear instructions, that they hear uh, the need to do whatever that is for that particular opportunity. This is intercession. We have been taught over years all of this garbage about intercession when intercession has always been about the kingdom. Yes, we can pray over the things that we have need of. But I'm going to tell you a bigger area, <laughs> praise God. When we're praying about those uh, needs that Father God has on his heart, the things that's in his heart, he covers our needs. They're automatically covered. Uh, we can ask for things. We can pray over certain things, over family members, of course. But if we're staying on course and listening to the heart of God and praying those things out into the atmosphere, releasing God angel armies over those things, then these things begin to happen. I, I just can't believe all of the things I have been releasing uh, since last year and the things I've seen come to pass and the, th the doors I've seen open and the things I've seen in the news where I've covered some things. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, that really that happened. Now it's done. So <laughs> I get excited because God is exciting. But. These doors are opening in 2024. We are to pray ourselves through those doors and others as well around the world. This work is so huge and so big. And even though you may not be the one that is particularly going through that door, you're, you're connected to the door. You're connected to each and every opportunity. If it's your, uh, your uh, opportunity or not, you're still connected. We as a body of Yahweh are coming into a, uh, it, it's like, um, uh, I, I, I'm trying to, I use a tree for an example because you have a tree and you have the leaves and the branches and they go on all whichever way, but they're coming on that same bark to the same root. And, and Yahweh is the root, the, the, uh, the um, uh, he's the root to that tree, the tree trunk. And so as we know that these things are going, the leaves and, and everything is going this way and that way, we are those branches and leaves uh, coming off of, uh, out of the root uh, of the tree. And so we're all connected and it all works hand in hand because we all got something to do that brings us like this. We all do. This is why there shouldn't be any jealousy or envy in the in the body of Yahweh because we all have so much to do. And if we're all connected, how is we how are we missing anything? We can't. But we have to stay before God in prayer. And these are some key things that he's telling us that's coming up in 2024 about policies being passed, some things being exposed through land. Uh, the purchase of the land and how they, the assets or whatever that component is, I'm going to do some more interceding and praying about that and come back on at a different time and talk more about this land thing because I think it's very important that we know exactly what doors are opening and how they're opening. Uh, the housing market and how people are being able to uh, present themselves before these doors because Father God says that He's bringing it all down. Let, 
he said for some specifics about housing. He said that um he says keep your focus on this this as I move to bring an open door. Okay, let me go down. Continue to keep prayer over housing as those doors are opened for many. I will cause a shift in in home buying moving forward. People will have an opportunity to move through this door. And so this is what I'm saying about the doors. And we have to continue to pray over these things. See, this is something that we have not been taught. We talk about doors. They talk about gates. I don't know what the gates are, but they talk about gates. They talk about doors. Open heaven. But they never give you a, a what is the open heaven doing? Okay, if it's the open heavens is for these doors and opportunities to present themselves, well, then we haven't been activating people to go through the doors. We have to pray people through things. We have to pray ourselves through things. We have to pray over situations, circumstances, releasing God angel armies out into the atmosphere to cover all of these things that Father God is doing in the earth today. So... As we're learning these things together, because I'm learning along with you. As we are learning these things together, knowing how to pray and cover doors and cover opportunities around the world for each other, that we all are presenting ourselves before the throne of Yahweh to hear the directions and instructions that he's bringing to each and every one of us. Whether it's our door or someone else's door, we still should be interceding for that because it's building the kingdom here on earth that we're all sustained in these coming horrific years that are before us. We, it's inevitable. We will go through the years of famine and chaos and craziness. We will go through it. But how do we go through it? That's the key. Will we go through it with grace? In, in the kingdom of God, and as Holy Spirit covers each and every one, collectively as the body of Yahweh? Or will we be a part of the world system and go through hell? Hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, uh, Wednesday, let's think about praying over open doors, that opportunities are presenting themselves to all of those ones that Father God has called to move forward in building the kingdom that we're all safe and secure. How about that? <laughs> Praise God. Until the next video, like, share, and subscribe. Share the videos. Like. Leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking about all of this. Have a blessed hump day.